Greetings, the Astro 30 here yet again, and as you can see, the Sony SCRD 475 surround sound amplifier is now sitting on the desk again. That's because it's, uh, well, sort of failed again. Now, I psych tested this for about two days, um, driving left and right outputs. Worked fine. Till uh, Monday, Tuesday night, the left channel dropped out. And, well, I think it's because I used a second-hand capacitor for that 100 microfarad in the um, feedback network. However, testing it this morning, the, uh, the signal's there. However, I have confirmed, by using the multi-channel inputs, if I switch my output lead to the surround output left, and then swap this, the signal is there, but it's weak. If I swap to the right, it's there, but it's even worse. So I reckon what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go back in here. I'm going to have to replace that capacitor that I put in there, that second hand one, just to make sure. I can't even see it through the lid. Uh, now I can. And I'm going to replace the other two 100 microfarad capacitors that are in the feedback networks of the surround left and surround right outputs because I do really want to sell this but I want it in a working configuration. Right, so the lid is off. There's the second hand capacitor I'm talking about. I'll just pop him out and change him. Um, I should really signal trace the uh, surround left and right channels in just to make sure the signal is dropping out but I don't know without looking at the schematic where the capacitors that go to um, well I can find one uh, where the capacitors actually go for the input source scope set up but my negative lead just came back off so I'll find somewhere to hook that now I'm just going to probe around circuit and see if I can find the signal. There's a signal. No signal. No signal. No signal. Uh, no signal. Well there won't be on that one. No signal on that one. There's a signal there. I'm not sure where that's coming from though. Um, the signal there. The signal there. They're both the same voltage, so that must be the input capacitor to the left surround out. And there we go through this 1K resistor, and the voltage is the same. Hmm. Let me compare that to the actual normal left channel in. So that's connected to there. All right, so the voltage is the same up until the chip. So yeah, I can't really definitively say that that, yeah, that, that capacitor is an issue, but I'm gonna change it anyway, considering that I've gotta pull the board out anyway. And I'm a little kind of annoyed that I've gotta pull this apart, well, for a second time, if you wanna call it that, to replace the same component twice. But if it dropped out once 
and then came back, it's going to drop out again. And it would have to do with heat near these ICs that is, is causing an issue with the capacitor. Plus it's an old capacitor. I got three new ones. Might as well replace all those 100 microfarad 10 volt capacitors and be done with it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull it down, pull the board out again and uh, see if we can fix this properly. Okay, the PCB is out for the 100th time and I've marked the top of each of these 100 microfarad capacitors and verified on the schematic that these are indeed uh, C603, C703 and C653 respectively, which are all in the gain set uh, re resistor path of the negative feedback loop of the um, ICs here. So, as I say, I've got three of them, might as well replace all three. Um, so, note to self, or note to you all, if you ever find one of these Sony amplifiers that uses these uh, UPC 2581 driver ICs, and they're using 10 microfarad, 10 volt capacitors in the circuit, and you've got no sound output on a channel, just change them. Alright, so let me get these changed out and we'll put it back together and see how well it works. I've got all the capacitors changed now. Unfortunately, the board's experiencing so much heat around that area that all the traces and pads are starting to lift. So it's very delicate at this point. And this is the last time I'm working it. Now I've got one of the 100 microfarad capacitors that I've taken out uh, going across my multimeter and it's been sitting on the meter now for the last minute and it should have registered 100 microfarad by now. It's only 33 nanofarad. That capacitor is dead. So I'll swap out this capacitor that came off of one of the rear channels. Uh, I'll connect the other one that I took out. I'm not going to test the, the green one I took out, there's no point. Because that does work. Okay, it's coming up to 41 microfarad. 40 microfarad. 39 microfarad and falling off. I reckon that was the one that was on the left channel that was slightly louder than the right. Yep, it's definitive that capacitor is also stuffed. Um, I can prove that by hooking up the green one that I took out, which still does sort of work for most most of the time. So that's connected. And it's got to charge the capacitor first. And there we go. See, it only took about 20 seconds and it comes up to 107 odd microfarads. So that is, for without doing an ESR test, a good known capacitor. All right. Time to put this back into the unit for the last time. And if it fails again, I'm not taking it out again because I really don't want to deal with it anymore. So I'll put this back in the unit. I'll throw these capacitors out because they're stuffed. And um, yeah, we'll try it out. All right, it's all back together now and I'm about ready to test it. And this is the last time I'm pulling it apart. And it's also probably going to be the last piece of junk that I buy from the tip shop, just saying. Turn it on, make sure it still works. Yeah, we've got a channel, we've got a channel. We've got an output on the left channel. Nice and loud. Probably louder on the right for some reason. No, it sounds about the same. Yeah, go to the left rear. Ah, well golly. We've got an output, left, right. Golly, we've got an output. Sounds a little bit louder on the right than it does on the left for some strange reason, I'm not real sure. So we'll go into the center channel, which is this one here, and we have an output. Isn't that special? So now all outputs are working. I haven't tested the sub output, output yet. I probably should test it to see if I'm actually getting a signal back out. Um, that's not so easy to test because I need another RCA lead and don't have one. So, anyhow, hang on. Well, it must be my lucky day. I happened to find another RCA lead in the car. Don't know why it was in there, but it is. I've got the scope hooked up across the subwoofer output and the oscillator is going into the subwoofer input. So I'll turn the device on. 
Uh, currently, there we go, we've got a signal. Isn't that special? Drop it down a bit. There we go, we've got an output signal. And currently we're looking at about probably 60 millivolts because I'm still in times 10 mode. So yeah, the subwoofer output works. So all the outputs on this amplifier work. I don't know whether to do a jig or what, but Gonna make sure that it, the balance is in the center, which it is. And yeah, for some reason the right does sound stronger than the left. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it is working. And I'm happy of that fact because it was annoying. Just like that tone is annoying. Now, why did the left hand channel suddenly fail? Well, most likely because this capacitor that's in my hand here, this green one, is a second hand capacitor and it's so close to the heatsink area of the IC that once the unit heated up and this capacitor was exposed to hours of heat, maybe it's ESR shot up or it might be slightly dry on the inside because it is an old capacitor so I wouldn't trust this in any circuit really now and the fact that it came back a few days later because it had been sitting around waiting for me to look at uh, and for some reason this capacitor healed uh, yeah that's a good indication that there is an issue with this capacitor either that or because the pads are lifting around where the capacitor was soldered maybe it became temporarily disconnected or high resistance I don't know I've really soldered the new ones in just to make sure that they're in and they're holding onto as much of the pad that is left um, and there's not much else I can do so Both channels are working, in fact all the channels are working, so kill that now because that's annoying. Um, this was only a short video and this is what I should have done in the first place, is replaced all those capacitors and I wouldn't have had a problem, all the outputs would be there. Uh, the subwoofer doesn't use a power amp so it, there's no issue with that circuit. Uh, the centre uses a different driver, uh, IC is an SDK chip and the capacitors for that chip are well away from its heat sink area anyway so the center always worked sub always worked it's just the left rear and right rear didn't work and the right rear uh, right front originally didn't work so having said that i'm going to close this one out and hopefully this is the last time i have to open this one up because i just want it to stay working long enough so i can sell the thing like, you know, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks on Gumtree without a remote and, yeah, be done with it. Um, the tuner does work to a point. I can't get the FM to work because I don't have an antenna. But the AM will receive, but there's a lot of mains bars behind it. So, mm, there is probably issues with other electrolytic capacitors in this. Uh, amplifier especially around the regulator ICs and over near the power supply section but I've spent probably two dollars on this now in capacitors I don't really want to spend any more money on it it's not worth it and even though I swap the relays around all relays seem to be working fine so I'm just going to leave it there anyway I'm the Astro 30 if you enjoyed this video please remember to rate comment and subscribe below and you can always follow me on Facebook and there's links to my Patreon and Facebook in the description below. And there should be a link to the original um, video on this amplifier, what the original fault was, as well as a card at the top of the screen at the start of the video, if you wish to go and go back in time and see that video, if you haven't already. Anyway, this is the Astro 30 saying, see ya. Thank you for watching. 90% of the time, I have no idea what the f I'm talking about.